ever wanted to offer both free and premium content on your WordPress site, but you weren't sure how to manage the access level? Good news, it's easier than you think. Hey there, I'm Carmen, and in this video I'll walk you through how to set up free and paid membership plans in just a few clicks. Whether you're running a blog, an online course, or a private community, this solution has you covered. Let's jump right in. For this tutorial, we are going to use paid member subscriptions, a beginner-friendly tool that makes it easy to create and manage different subscription plans in just a few clicks. First thing first, let's head over to Plugins and click on Add New. Search for Paid Member Subscriptions and click Install. Don't forget to activate the plugin. Once it's active, you'll see a new menu item in your dashboard. Next, let's go to Paid Member Subscriptions, Subscription Plans and click on Add New. Let's create our free plan first. Give it a name like Free Plan, then choose the subscription details based on your own preferences. For this example, I'll set the duration for 30 days and keep the price at zero since it's free. Then hit Save Subscription. Next, let's set up a paid plan. I'll give it a suggestive name like Pro Plan set the duration to 30 days as well, and then set the price. Make sure everything is properly set up and then click on Save Subscription. Because I want to offer three subscription options for my subscribers, I will create an additional plan called Agency Plan. I will make this one a bit more expensive. Quick heads up, if you're creating paid plans, don't forget to set up a payment gateway, like Stripe or PayPal, so people can actually pay for their subscriptions. So, in the Payment section of the Paid Member Subscription settings, select Gateways and then choose if you want to use PayPal or Stripe. Then complete the necessary settings to connect with the gateway you picked and hit Save. I won't go into deep right now, but don't worry, I've got separate videos coming up soon that cover payment setups step by step. Great, so now all our plans are ready to go. It's time to let users subscribe to these plans and become free or paid members. To do so, let's go to Pages, Add New and create a new registration page. I will call mine Join for now. Then all we have to do is add the register block inside the page so our users will be able to subscribe to a plan. As you can see on the right side of the page, you can tweak the registration form even more, like choosing exactly what subscription plans you want to show or even choose if they should be displayed at the bottom or at the top of the form. Once you set up everything, make sure to click Publish and it should look something similar to this. Amazing! Your visitors will be able to subscribe to your plans now. But don't forget to let them log into their account and manage their subscriptions. First, create the login page just as you would create any other page on your website. Then make sure to add the paid member subscriptions login block to it and hit Publish. Your login page is now live. Don't forget to also create an account page where users can directly check their subscription details and also manage their plan for further updates. Simply create a new page on your website and add the PMS account block to it. On the right, select the page where you want to redirect your users once they log out. Hit publish and you're done. And just like that, your site now supports both free and paid memberships. You now have a working membership system on your WordPress site, complete with both free and paid plans, a custom registration form, a login page, and also an account area where users can manage their subscriptions. And you did all that without touching a single line of code. If you found this helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and tap the notification bell so you don't miss out on future WordPress tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.